Now tonight, residents of one Monroe County gated community are speaking out against their community manager, hoping for change. Fox 56's Jake Sarwar spoke with residents and is joining us live now with their reaction. Jake. Aaron and Ann, in the past week, residents of Penn Estates have contacted Fox 56, highlighting multiple concerns. The members are people. The members go to work. They earn a living. It's hard nowadays. Stop trying to empty our pockets. Some residents from Penn Estates and East Stroudsburg are speaking out, claiming fines are getting out of hand when enforcing the rules and regulations within their community. The residents enjoy their neighbors, but feel the administration is taking advantage of them. It really feels like it's just kind of one person overruling everyone, even the board members who are supposed to be there to protect us as homeowners, and it doesn't feel like they are. Monica Munez has been a community resident for nearly a decade and says violations, big and small, have increased over the years. She explains the time when she received a violation for putting a free item at the end of her driveway. It got picked up in, in hours, but they caught a picture of it and then mailed it to me with a ticket. So long, no garbage at the end of your driveway. And like, if it was there for days or a week, then I understand. But it was literally just hours. Somebody ran by and picked it up. Residents I spoke with field community manager Phyllis Hayes doesn't consider the people anymore. Betty Ann Neville has been an active resident of Penn Estate since 1988. She and her husband, a former board president, stepped down due to recent rule changes. I felt like I was compromising myself, and he did too. So we just decided, you know, this isn't, can't back it anymore. It's, there's no reason for this going on. Neville says maintenance fees and violations continue to increase, which hurts residents already feeling financial woes. We find them at the gate. We find them for noise. We find them for being outside. We find them for too many cars in the driveway. And the money's just rolling in and rolling in and rolling in and building up. But we still don't get credit for it. We had to get a $100 a year raise in our maintenance fee. Now, I did reach out to Phyllis Hayes for comment, who was unavailable for an in-person interview today, but did send me a statement saying, in part, the association is operating appropriately within our guidelines and state regulations. Live tonight in the News Center, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10.